Welcome back to day 16 of Advent of Women 2025. Today we're going to talk about the after directory. Like in the last few videos, here's a little shout out to my YouTube channel members and my YouTube super chatters and thankers and my GitHub sponsors. Hi, my name is Marco. Let's get started. So what actually is the after directory, you might ask? Well, the after directory is a directory that is run after all the other configuration of plugins or Vim itself or your VimRC has been run. So if you want to really make sure that you have the last word in some setting, the after directory is what you want to use. Because it loads last, it can override everything that's been configured before. To illustrate this a little bit, let's run script names here. Script names shows you all the scripts that have been run since Vim started in the order of execution. So first it started with etc.vimrc, so the global vimrc. Then it loaded a bunch of syntax, syn load, syn color, and whatnot uh, scripts here, the ft plugin script here, and all kinds of other stuff here. So everything that we put in our after thing should be run after all these scripts have been run. So currently we have our vimrc file open, but let's see what happens if we open a sample Python file here. Let's run script names again. The beginning looks quite similar. But then if we scroll down, you see at the end, some Python specific stuff is loaded. And we have 38 entries instead of 36 before. Or and to make this a little bit more clear, you see at number 11 is our actual VimRC that's been loaded. So for example, let's go back to our VimRC. Let's go back to the top here and we set up some tab and indentation settings here. Let's go back to the Python file here and see if these are still holding up. So to test this out, let's jump down 16 lines here, add another line here and maybe just delete that and tab again. And here you see we have a tab size of four spaces and maybe we don't want that. So one way to overwrite these settings here is actually to create a specific file in a subdirectory in the after directory. So let's just open up the Vim directory here that we got. Uh, the Vim directory, my Vim directory, create after directory, an ft plugin directory, and then the Python Vim. Let's jump back to our VimRC file and let's just copy the tabs and annotation settings we had here and go back to the other file and just paste them in here. Let's go ahead and save them. And this didn't work because I didn't create the directory before. So let's just make dir. Give it a P option and let's actually use the my vim dir, dir <laughs> uh, variable here again. And we need after ft plugin. Really can't type while I'm, while I'm talking. And then let's just write this file again. And now let's see what happens when we go back to the, to the sample file. Let's reload this here real quick. And now these settings should be loaded. So now if we press tab, we see we have just two spaces that gets inserted here. Let's make it a little bit more obvious and go back to the Python file here and let's change everything here, every, every two is to like an, a 16. So it's really obvious when we actually press tab that we have enormous tab width here, right? So let's go back to the other file. Let's reload this again and let's go into insert mode. And now if I press tab, I should make a really big jump. And yes, sure enough, this works. You could of course also add auto commands or whatever you want into this script here. Maybe this helps you to get rid of some of the stuff in a VimRC if you have many file types that you want to do stuff for and you can group this all together for, for this one thing. So you could do all Python specific overrides in this file here. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention that before, but in the FT plugin subdirectory, the file here needs to be the name of the actual file type you want to change stuff for. So for a Python file, it should be named python.vim. By the way, I actually messed up a little bit here because these set variables should actually be set local variables because we just want to have this for the actual buffers that are Python files here, right? So let's just correct this here with a simple search and replace here. So set should be set local everywhere here. And let's just save this. This is actually the correct way to do this inside file type specific things. So let's actually jump into the after directory here. So it's the, well, let's, let's go into the Vim directory actually. 
And let's just do a uh, tree view of these. And you see that we just have this FT plugin thing in here because we just created this. But this after directory just mirrors the Vim runtime directory. Let's change into this. And let's just create a syntax and a plugin directory and all the other directories that are actually inside the runtime directory you can create here. And then the actual stuff that belongs in inside these directories gets loaded last after the regular runtime stuff gets loaded. So you can overwrite all kinds of things. But I guess most of the time you just will use the FT plugin directory here in the after directory. But if you have any other use cases, please let me know in the comments. So if you want to learn something more about this, you can use the Vim help, of course, and search for Vim after directory. And there's a little explanation there. And I guess also in the FT plugin, help file there is also something mentioned about the after directory so in the corresponding things here if you search a little bit through the help file you can get lots of more info and there's also the mention that you should make sure that the file type plugin only affects the current buffer to use that you use to set local so don't make my mistake so unfortunately i lost the race to the primogen he's already at 1 million subscribers anyway please subscribe to my channel if you didn't already do and like and hype the video and you know there are the youtube membership options or the kit of sponsors or Kofi options for you to support me once again i hope to see you here tomorrow thanks for watching see you around and take care